I think Northeast Ohio starts with some very strong economic assets that were frankly downplayed in the prior economy because all we were doing was building homes and, you know, what I call Starbucks and Stadia. Um, so if we get back to some fundamentals, you've got strong assets to build on if you can understand who you are and then strengthen your strengths. It, I think it's fundamental in this century for cities, metropolitan areas, and regions to market and brand themselves. Uh, but that starts with an understanding of who you are. Uh, again, in, in the prior economy, in the pre-recession economy, driven by consumption, we began to lose our sense of, uh, or regions began to lose their sense of their own distinctiveness. I think going forward, the regions that succeed in the world are those who really understand what makes them special, what gives them a, a particular niche in this rapidly changing global economy, and then relentlessly, purposefully, begin to build on their strengths uh, and market, communicate, send signals to private sector investors, companies, um, and given the nature of the world in which we live, uh, government, because governments abroad play such a critical role uh, in, the, in their own ec economic growth. I know about the Cleveland Plus campaign and, and what I think is so attractive about it is that you represent a consortium of institutions, you know, business, civic, university. Um, you, 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 you are collaborating to compete as these disparate institutions and intermediaries so that you can sell and brand one unified uh, notion of what the Cleveland economy or Northeast economy is and what it can be, you know, going forward. And so um, stay with it. Uh, I mean, you know, the United States is, is really still the preeminent economy in the world. We got there because uh, we're, we're mercantile, we're capitalists, we're able to sell things, we're able to advertise, right? So regions, cities, metros, regions, really need to act in the same way. Um, you are selling yourself to the world. Um, you're selling yourself to the rest of the United States, but you're also selling yourself even more importantly to the world because that's where the bulk of the demand is going to be coming from. Well, I think you are selling yourself to your own residents um, because A, you're saying here's a different mental map of what it takes to compete in the 21st century. It's no longer the city of Cleveland or Cuyahoga County or Lorraine. It's, it's the Cleveland Metro plus Youngstown, plus Canton, plus Akron. That gives you a scale and a scope so that you can compete globally. At the same time, um, you know, places like Northeast Ohio, because of deindustrialization in the United States, because the United States turned away from manufacturing, right, um, decided we would subsidize real estate and not really promote and provide incentives for innovation and production. Um, we have to relearn what kind of economy we have, and, and residents of Northeast Ohio need to understand that their economy, which is a very interesting mix of advanced research and global companies and manufacturing firms, skilled workers, they've got a mix that seems primed to compete in this century. Um, when all you're doing is building homes, you know, and you're, you're offshoring a lot of your production, which is what we did for the last 25 years, you know, Northeast Ohio was at the wrong end of the stick. As we begin to shift to a different kind of growth model, a different kind of economy, uh, fueled by innovation and powered by low carbon and driven by exports, Northeast Ohio seems primed to succeed. Northeast Ohio is a very distinctive place um, with incredible assets, attributes, and advantages. Understand that and sell that. So that's A. B, um, know what you trade and who you trade with. There's a new metro map in the world. I call it the new Silk Road, right? Given your sectors and your clusters, you may have particular relationships to the, uh, the cities, the major cities of the mature economies like Canada, Europe, and Japan, but also the rising metros of the rising nations. But, un but you're not going to be trading with everyone, so you've got to understand exactly who your partners are in the world. And the last piece is to sustain this over time. Keep at it. Um, if you find the right brand that matches up to your special and distinct assets, keep hammering again and again and again. 
because at the end, it, it takes repetition for it to sink in. Um, I mean, you know, just think about any successful campaign we've had in the United States. Don't smoke, right? Um, you know, how many times have we been subjected to that? Well, most of us stopped smoking or never started in the first place. So there is sort of a, you know, a common um, sort of element to successful marketing and sustained marketing um, with simple messages that are true and authentic, you know, can, can, can en enable you to, to realize your potential.